What's up guys? Welcome back to Caveman Aquatics. I'm Kev from CavemanAquatics.com. Make sure you check out the website. In today's video, we're going to talk about a problem that every fish keeper eventually needs to deal with in this hobby. That problem is internal parasites. So let's jump right in. I'm going to assume that if you're watching this video, you already think you have a problem and you're looking for solutions. So I'm not going to waste your time with how fish get parasites or why they get parasites. This video is going to be about showing you the signs and symptoms of internal parasites and how to treat for it so you can save your fish. So once you've been in the hobby for a while, it's safe to say that you know when your fish are acting funny. If your fish is hanging out on the top of the tank gasping for air, or they're in a corner in the bottom just sitting on the gravel not moving much, looking kind of lazy, you could kind of tell that something's wrong, that they must be sick. Now when it comes to internal parasites, there's a couple of telltale signs that you have a problem. So take a look at my OB Peacock. His name is Camo and he's the tank boss. But you see this long stringy white poop attached to him? This is a telltale sign that he has internal parasites. This long stringy poop is an indication that he's not digesting his food properly. If your fish have this long stringy white poop, it is safe to say that that fish has internal parasites and you should remove him into a hospital tank immediately. Now take a look at my fluorescent peacock. His name is Flavor Flav. Obviously, right? Well, do you notice this concave belly that he has? This is called sunken belly. Sunken belly is another telltale sign of internal parasites. Now some fish do have sunken belly right out of the fish store, mainly because they actually are hungry and they are starving because the fish store doesn't feed them. But if you've had a fish for a while, and all of a sudden their belly starts to get this concave curve, this is a sign of internal parasites. On top of that, Flavor Flav hasn't been eating for about a week. This is another telltale sign of internal parasites. What the parasites are doing are eating all the food that he eats. They are consuming all the nutrients and the fish itself isn't getting any nutrients. If your fish get to this point where they're not eating anymore, their chances of survival are greatly diminished. But there is a chance to save them. Now take a look at my OB Red Empress. His name is Royal. Do you guys name your fish? If you do, let me know in the comments below. Or is it just me? Anyway, this OB Red Empress has very early signs of sunken belly. If you can see, his belly is starting to concave just a little bit. Now since I have two other fish with highly probable signs of internal parasites, I'm just going to assume that this very early stage of sunken belly could be a third case. So at this point, I'm not going to isolate these fish. I'm going to assume that this parasite has been affecting my entire tank for quite a while now. So I'm going to go ahead and medicate the whole entire tank. So if your fish have any of these three symptoms, not eating, stringy white poop, sunken belly, if you catch it early enough, make sure you remove them from your main tank, put them in a hospital tank and treat them there. If your fish have all three of these symptoms, then it's reasonable to believe that it has already spread to your entire tank and you should medicate your whole tank. What we're going to use to medicate for internal parasites, I'm sure you've heard of it, is Metroplex, Focus, and finally Garlic Guard. These three products are going to save your fish and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Now treating an entire tank this big or even bigger is going to be pretty costly but there is a much more efficient way of getting the medication directly to where the fish needed the most in their bellies and that is feeding them. We're going to mix this medication with their food and when they ingest it, it's going to go right to the source of the problem. This is why I say if you have a fish that's already not eating, it's going to be a bigger problem trying to get them to eat this medicated food. Medicated food is nasty. Fish don't want to eat medicated food. That's where the garlic guard comes in. Garlic guard is just that, garlic. I'm going to read it right off the bottle. It's a flavor enhancer for finicky eaters. When you mix food with garlic guard, no matter what it is, your fish are going to go crazy for it. As long as you get that fish that's not eating to eat this medicated food, then you're in good shape. If you still can't get that fish to eat this medicated food, then you would want to remove that fish, put them in a smaller hospital tank, and just treat the water inside the entire tank. But like I said, at that point, chances are rough. I'm going to take you guys over to the counter and show you exactly how to mix this food, what proportions to use, and how to feed it to your fish. Let's go. Okay guys, here we go. I got my cup that I use to mix food 
along with the spoon that I keep only for aquarium related uses. We got our Metroplex, Focus, our Garlic Garb, and the food that I feed, which is Norfin Cichlid Formula. Okay guys, so since I'm gonna medicate the entire tank, I'm gonna use the same amount of food that I would normally use to feed the entire tank. Which in my case, my overstocked African cichlids, I feed them one heaping teaspoon of Northland pellets. Next, we're gonna add the Metroplex. The Metroplex comes with a little scoop in itself that you can use to scoop out the medication. One flat level scoop right into the food. That's all you need. This stuff is super concentrated and you don't want to over medicate your fish even though Metroplex is pretty safe very small chance of over over medicating your fish and something bad happening the focus says right on the box to use a five to one ratio of metroplex so we're gonna use five scoops of focus for that one scoop of metroplex focus also comes with its own scoop inside One, two, what you want to do is press on the side of the bottle to make sure you get a flat, even scoop. That's three, four, that's a five to one ratio of focus to Metroplex. Next thing we're gonna use is the garlic guard. Before that, what I like to do is just mix this up a little bit and get the medication and the focus to the bottom of the cup. So it's not sitting on top of the food, I'd rather it be on the bottom of the cup. So when we pour in our garlic guard, it soaks up all that medication. Now normally when I feed, I always put one cap full of garlic guard on a normal occasion. Since I'm medicating their food, I add a second cap full of garlic guard. Make it extra tasty, extra garlicky. Make sure these guys eat up all this food. Mix it up a bit. You can see the medication is still all separated. After a while of mixing, you won't even see it in the food anymore. Now at this point, you wanna let it sit for about 20 minutes. Give the food a good chance of soaking in all the medication. Now this is all you need when mixing your medication into your food. You don't need to do anything else or add anything else. Just give it some time to make sure that the pellets soak up the medication and the garlic guard. But I do add several other products to my fish food. But I'll go over that in detail in a separate video where I'll discuss which products I use and why I use them. If you're watching this currently in the week of July 8th, 2020, then make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video when it comes out. If you're watching this at some point in the future, then you should also subscribe. But I'll put a link to that video in the cards right now. Okay guys, so it's been about 20 to 25 minutes of letting this food just marinate in the medication. The pellets look pretty soaked, full of that garlic guard and medication. I'm gonna get ready to feed it to the guys. But keep in mind, I did have one fish, Flavor Flav, that wasn't eating at all. So I'll try to focus in on him once I put this food in the tank so we can get a good shot of him actually eating this stuff. Let's go.
Now this medication is going to cloud your water up for a very short time. It's got medication in it. And all these pellets that are on the bottom, my guys are going to devour that in less than a minute. As you can see, Flavor Flav right here, he's munching on something. He's got food in his mouth and he's chewing on it, which is a good sign. But you want to keep an eye on him and make sure that he doesn't just spit it back out. As long as he keeps that food in his mouth and he ingests it, then you know he's taking that medication in. Along with everybody else that has the possibility of having internal parasites, they're all eating that medication right now. As long as you can get everybody to eat, then you don't have to separate any fish. Keep them all in the same tank, medicate the food for everybody, do this every day for about a week or two, depending on if you see any changes in their behavior. If you can see in the bottom of my substrate, there's no food down there anymore. These guys devoured that whole teaspoon of food, which is a lot of food, in less than a minute. So mix your medication with your food, feed it to your guys, and as long as everybody eats, you'll be good to go. If you found this information helpful, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I make plenty of helpful videos in the aquarium hobby. Now that the video's over, take a look around the channel. You might find something else you like. See you on the next one.